Fun Crew. My name is Liba and I am going to show you a few tips and tricks for taking um, some great looking pictures. Um, years ago before I joined O2B, um, many years ago, um, I used to take pictures and get paid for it so that was pretty fun. Uh, when I was 17 I took a um, class with my dad and absolutely fell in love with photography and by the time I was 18 I started getting paid for um, portrait photography. I did some weddings, um, lots of events and um, just really um, found a passion for taking, um, capturing moments, taking pictures of people's special times. But I think the, the reason I want to tell you and share with you a few um, tips, yes, I have some professional background from many years ago, but it's actually really rare for me to get my big camera out anymore. So most of my pictures um, and anything you see definitely on um, Midtown's Facebook is just on my phone. So I want to show you what I do with a picture so that you can do it too. Um, I'm going to go through my um, camera. I'm going to show you some things on my um, screen so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm on an iPhone, but these um, pointers work for any, really any phone. So I can send you a list of phones that I would recommend with excellent cameras built in, um, but I want you to feel like you could take a picture with what you've got. So we are going to go through um, your camera phone. And then if you're interested in learning a little bit more, I'm going to send you or include it in, the, in today's training um, a little bit more in-depth information on how to get the pictures that you really want. So stay with me and I'll show you. Okay, so this is a picture I took earlier this week. Um, this little guy was playing with um, a little car center and the light coming in from the playground looked so cool to me. This image is unedited and I'm going to show you what I would do to make this picture a little bit better. Um, just using the phone's editing tools, I'm just going to click edit up in the right hand corner. Um, oh, it looks like this did have some uh, edits. So let me let me revert back to the original so that you can see what it looked like before. Okay, so you can see it's a little bit more hazy. Um, all right, let's go back up and edit. What I would do is actually brighten it a little bit. The color looks a little dull to me. Um, so I'm gonna go into this plus, uh, plus negative little icon and increase the exposure just a little bit. I'm also going to click on the brilliance and play with that. Sometimes I just go up and down just to see what looks a little bit better. I feel like a little bit more here is helpful. Um, and, and when you're looking through what you want to do with your pictures, I encourage you to explore all of the little options. I'm going to click on the other one just for fun. Highlights, let's play with that a little bit. So if I go um, more, it really burns this photo out. So let me let me go back a little bit and see what it looks like. This one's not that much of an impact, so I'm going to leave it pretty much alone. Um, the last option is contrast, so um, really increasing the bright areas and the dark areas. Let's play with that for a minute. Um, burning it out, nope, there's already a lot of sun in this picture, so I don't need to burn it out more. Let's go and pull the contrast um, down a little bit. Okay, so I feel like it looks a little bit better right now, so I'm going to stop right there. Um, now I'm going to click on the option to change the color. That's the, our original. So a lot of phones are going to offer the built-in editing tool. This is right on the iPhone. Um, they're going to offer a couple of ways. This is true of Android too, to either increase the color, decrease, um, add to the drama. Um, and I encourage you to play with it. So right now we're on original. I'm going to click over to um, Vivid. When I'm posting to Midtown Facebook page, a lot of times I'm increasing the color in the vivid range um, because I want vibrancy in the pictures, but watch your skin tones if you're using the vivid. Sometimes it can look too red or too orange. So you can also tone it down a little bit. You can see I'm pulling down some of that color. So we're definitely more vivid than original. Um, but I've, I've toned it down a little bit. So that's an option. Let's click on over to warmth. Um, warmth is, an, is a neat um, filter, especially for 
um, just really improving the skin tones. This warmth usually looks nice on all skin tones, but play with this too. Some people love this one, some people don't. Again, a lot of times I will tone down um, how vivid something is. So look, I'm gonna come down on this bar again and calm that warmth. So we calmed down the vivid um, on the last option and then we calmed down the warmth on this one. Now the light is so cool on this one, I would love to play and see what this one looks like in black and white. So in monotone, um, I would click again up here on the contrast and I'd play with the contrast. So I'm going to pull it out even more and um, kind of really highlights his face and his profile. So I really like it in black and white. Um, I'm not going to save that one. I'm going to cancel and go back. Um, no, we're not going to discard everything, but let's go back over here. Um, here's a mono option, and then right next to it on the iPhone, there is the silver tone, which brings in some warmth tones to it. Kind of gives you like an old-fashioned, old-timey feel. Um, and then the last option is kind of an artistic black and white. So I, I, I do like um, the Noor, however you pronounce that one. Um, so those are some options right there. And just to review, if I was to go in to this, I just clicked the far left option. Again, this is the iPhone editor, um, but every phone, most of the phones have a, a very simple editor built into um, the phone itself. And so I want to encourage you to play with those edits. And this is true of every single phone I've had from the uh, very early version of iPhone to Samsung um, to different types of phones. There's always some sort of editing tool built right in. So if you don't have, um, excuse me, if you don't have an editing tool, you can actually download editing tools for free on the app market. And so if you're interested in learning about which ones I enjoy, um, feel free to send me an email, liba at o2bkids.com. That's L-I-E-B-A at o2bkids.com. I can send you a list of some of the free apps that I love. Um, no charge at all, and, and you can play even a lot more than just the phone's built-in tool. So, okay, so let's play with this a little bit more, and I would show you where I'd probably end. If I was going black and white, I'd probably um, use this right around here, the contrast, um, kind of in the mid-range. Um, the last thing I would say is check your crops. In this picture, um, it's framed up pretty well, so there's nothing strange or awkward or really detracting from the picture in the background, but if there was, I just go over to the sim uh, simple crop tool and we could say, you know, maybe maybe you want less of that white corner, that upper right um, white corner. We could come down a little bit, pull in a little bit here and really just focus on him and not so much of the white. So that's really just a preference there. Sometimes um, if your picture is a little, this one's pretty balanced, but you could click on um, your horizon and your up and down vertical balance. So let me show you what this tool will do. Um, and again, play with it on your phone, but if you wanted to, to fix some balance here, you see how the forward or, or the foreground is coming, um, coming towards us when I spin right here? So you can play with that a little bit and see what's best. I'm gonna undo that um, or not save that one back up. I like it, I like it how it was. Um, okay, so I'm going to end this one. That's that's a black and white version. I'd probably uncrop. I liked um, the more of the um, photo showing before I cropped that. But that's an example of some edits that you could do. So let's 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 swipe over here. Here's another one. Um, I like the other one because he looked a bit more engaged. But in this one, let's use this one also to go through the examples. So we're going to click on edit. Um, this one also was slightly edited, so let me um, let me revert to original here. You can see it's a little bit hazy. I don't love that kind of, there's like a brown tint to it. There's also a red dot down in the left front foreground, so we're going to pay attention to that also um, because to me that's detracting from the overall picture. So for now, let's just, as an example, before we edit the photo at all, I'm going to go to my crop tool, and I'm going to take that red dot out. I don't like it. 
it pulls uh, from uh, the overall picture. And if you like it, you would definitely make that choice and keep it. Um, because on one hand, it does, um, it's a little conversant with that red section up in the racetrack. But for now, I'm gonna leave that out. So I'm gonna click done. And then we're going to go back into those editing tools. So I'm gonna click on exposure. Let's go a little bit brighter. I'm going to go to Brilliance, and I'm going to play with this and just see what's what looks a little bit better. Do I want to pull some out, or do I want to increase it? Maybe a little bit of an increase. Let's click on Highlights. I'm going to pull some out. We've already got a lot of light in this picture. Um, so I'm pulling a little bit out, and then last, the contrast. Um, we can increase or decrease a little bit. So I'm actually increasing the contrast. Generally, a good contrast is um, makes a picture looks, look uh, better. So you're going to pay attention to your contrast. Brightness, again, um, there's a lot of, lot of light coming from that upper right-hand corner, but play with it. Play with your phone's tools and see what you like. Um, I would probably leave it maybe a little bit under. And then black point. So black point just means um, you're going to make the dark parts of your picture darker. Um, so let's play with this so you can see it. Um, you see that all of the shadows um, are much more clear than here's our midpoint. This is how I took the picture. Um, well, you know, with 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 a few edits. But if we add to the black point, you can see those shadows become more clear. And especially if I was going to go into a black and white image, um, you want those shadows really, well, I usually want those shadows really, um, really crisp and more with more depth. Um, saturation is going to be a tool that's just going to bring the color either deeper or lighter. We can pull all the saturation out all the way out to a black and white. Um, so you can see I went all the way to the left-hand side um, and scrolled all the way to negative 100, and you can see what that looks like with not a bit of saturation in. Or I can go back, here's my midpoint, go all the way in and get it really deep. So um, I did say that when I'm posting, a lot of times I increase saturation for the center photos. That's just a, a decision I made for the pictures that I post. I generally will increase the saturation, and I will also increase contrast. Um, so I'm going to go all the way through these options just so you can see what they are. I'm clicking to the um, right, and that's vibrant. So let's play with this. Again, find a picture that you like on your phone and play with these tools. Vibrance, I've gone all the way over to the right. Let's go to the left. You can see the difference there in the color. I'm going to go through again. When we go really far to the right, the vibrance um, is a little bit too much to me. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull it back. Uh, maybe a little bit there. Okay. Temperature, that's the warmth. Now, when you go down to that bottom, the, the three little circles there, it's going to look a little bit different on an Android, but you can do a preset. So when we clicked on that warmth, vibrant warmth, it's already all of these edits that I'm playing with right now and showing you how to do those are preset in. So um, what's happened is the, the phone has gone through and um, saved edits commonly used to create a black and white, to create a silver tone, to create one with less vibrance or more. Um, but if you want to go through and do all these things yourself, that's what I'm doing. So I'm showing you how to do that and you can kind of really play with getting the best picture that you want. So again, I'm going to scroll and show you a whole lot of warmth. So this would look like almost like a a sunset that you're going to get a whole lot of warmth if you're taking pictures. Um, as the sun's going down, let's let's scroll back. Early morning, you're gonna get more of a blue light. So did you see that? I'm pulling the warmth out versus a lot of warmth in. So again, that's just gonna come down to what do you like? Um, I'm gonna pull back on that. I don't want a lot of warmth in this one. Um, let's see, maybe, maybe right around there. I've got it at negative 17. All right, so um, tint. Again, we're going to play with, you see how pinky that is? So we just went into kind of a very warm pinky tint, kind of a greenish. You see me scrolling, kind of a yellow. I don't like that at all. <laughs> but depending on what you, you would be, uh, what you're wanting to do, um, obviously you can go through and play with all your pictures. So 
Um, for skin tones, you'd want a, maybe a little bit of rosiness. Um, I like that. And then sharpness. So sharpness is another one that I use a lot. So, and then on a big phone, for those of you a little bit more familiar, not a big phone, a big camera, um, you know, sharpness is something that you're looking for in all of your pictures, all of your images. You want a real nice, sharp image. So um, with a phone camera, that's something that you need to pay attention to. Make sure that your um, little lenses are clean. You can use Windex and clean your lens or um, those uh, little uh, lint cleaners that you would use for eyeglasses um, or lint-free, I think they're called, little, uh, little lens cleaners. Keep your lens nice and um, clear. Your phone is often in your hands or in your pocket or in a bag, backpack, and so dust and hand uh, fingerprints and just uh, grime from day to day can be on the lens. So um, pay attention to that and keep that part clean. Um, but if you haven't done that or you have and you want your picture even sharper, we're on the sharp uh, sharpness tool. Um, let's watch this together. So let's sharpen this one up a little bit more. I don't know if you can see. This is subtle, but I can definitely see. I'm going to go all the way down so you can really see. Sometimes going too sharp is too much. So right now I'm seeing the little golden hairs on his arm. It's nice and sharp. I'm also seeing too much sharpness. Let's look down at the right hand bottom side of the rug. That's too much. I don't want to see. I don't want to see the texture of the rug quite that much. Maybe you do, so you could leave um, heavy sharpness. I would pull back. See how we're calming down? The rug is still pretty um, textured, but if we calm it down, it's not quite so intense. So um, again, you're gonna play with your sharpness, but sharpness is something that I would use quite often. Okay, um, definition. That's just going to calm the picture. So let's watch. I went all the way into the definition. Let's pull it all the way out. This is really subtle. Um, so that it's actually so subtle, I'm hardly even seeing a change on this one. So let's skip over. You can always, um, if you don't feel like you're seeing much of a change in one of your tools, just skip on over and look at something else. So noise reduction. Let's talk about noise reduction. Um, if you want less definition, let me show you what this does when we scroll over. It softened the photo. So some people want a softer look um, in a portrait, especially in a, in a headshot, so that it's not quite so detailed. If we were to go really ultra sharp on someone's face and you're using your portrait mode and you took that picture, they're probably gonna hate the picture because um, it's gonna show like every little pore and every little um, wrinkle or whatever. Maybe they don't want the peach fuzz on their face um, just showing so brightly. Um, you would go into noise reduction and you'd pull back on that. So it just softens the photo overall. But of course, um, I actually like, in this picture, I wanted it more sharp. So we could come back to maybe mid or even just ignore the noise reduction. But if you are doing um, a portrait, pay attention to the noise reduction because your subject's probably gonna be happier with the photo if um, the skin tones are calmed down a little bit. Okay, last option here is the vignette. And so this is going to either darken the edges of your photo or brighten the edges of your photo. And so just play with it and see what you like. A lot of times if I'm doing a series of photos, I'm gonna slightly darken the edge just to kind of have a crisp edge to the pictures. Um, so I'm just doing a very slight, very slight edit here. So maybe, maybe a plus 23. Okay, so that's going through. All we did was just the, the um, tools on the phone built in. This is not through an app. This is just the tools straight up on the phone. Um, all right, so I'm going to click done. And this picture is ready to go. Um, let's see, I think I've got one more that we can, can uh, contrast on. So you can see Here's one that's been um, edited. It's a much brighter, so it's really just preference. Um, there's nothing wrong with either uh, photo, but you can see a difference. So we've got the black and white one, the one with color enhanced, and we've um, 
you know, this one, the middle one that we just went through has a, a high number of edits on it. And then this one has a few edits. I think I've got one more. Okay, so this is actually the one I posted. If you look at um, Midtown's Facebook page, you can see now that I've taught you what um, I'm doing, this picture is not cropped. I left the white section up in the right part. You can see I did increase the color and I also increased the contrast a little bit. So that's how I got to that photo. All right, so I just showed you a whole bunch of edits and you don't actually have to do that many. If, there, if you were just gonna do a couple of edits, I would encourage you to play with your sharpness, um, look at your contrast, and then look at your color tone. So, um, you know, some edits could be done within 10 seconds, 15 seconds. It doesn't have to be long, but if there's a picture you love and you really want to work with it, then open up that editing tool and have some fun with it. Um, I hope that you have enjoyed this training. I would love to see what you do with a picture after you've taken this knowledge. Um, send it to me. I would love to see it. Um, and if you want me to play with one of your pictures and show you what I would have done or um, what I see in it, I would love to play with your picture. So feel free to send me your examples and um, enjoy. Enjoy.